Émile Zola, a prominent figure in French literature and a key exponent of the naturalist movement, presents a vivid portrayal of the human condition in his novel, The Earth. Published in 1887, the novel is a part of Zola's monumental Rugenmachert series, exploring various aspects of society through different branches of the same family. The Earth delves into the rural life of a farming family, the Fwans, and serves as a powerful commentary on the cyclical nature of life, the impact of the environment on individuals, and the inexorable forces that shape human destiny. The novel unfolds in the fictional village of Rhones, where the Fwans, led by the aging farmer Old Fwan, toil on their ancestral land. Zola paints a stark picture of the harsh realities of agricultural life, portraying the relentless struggle against the elements and the backbreaking labor required for survival. The earth itself becomes a central character, an omnipotent force that both sustains and devours those who are bound to it. Through detailed descriptions of the landscape and the characters' interactions with the soil, Zola creates a palpable sense of the earth's power and influence. The theme of heredity and its impact on human behavior, a hallmark of Zola's naturalism, is prominently featured in The Earth. The Fuan's connection to their land is not merely a matter of livelihood but is deeply ingrained in their blood. Zola explores how the environment shapes the character's destinies, as the traits and tendencies of one generation are passed down to the next. This deterministic view of heredity underscores Zola's belief in the overwhelming influence of biological and environmental factors on human existence. The characters in The Earth are intricately woven into the fabric of their rural setting, and Zola's naturalistic approach is evident in the depiction of their struggles, desires, and flaws. The protagonist, Jean, embodies the complexities of the human psyche as he grapples with ambition, love, and the weight of tradition. His journey becomes a microcosm of the broader human experience, illustrating the perpetual cycle of birth, growth, decay, and death. Zola skillfully captures the ebb and flow of life, presenting a tableau of human existence that transcends the specific context of the novel. Zola's use of symbolism is particularly noteworthy in The Earth, with the land itself symbolizing the primal forces that govern human life. The Earth is both a source of sustenance and a relentless taskmaster, demanding unwavering toil and sacrifice. The changing seasons mirror the cyclical nature of life, echoing the inevitability of birth and death. Zola's mastery lies in his ability to infuse ordinary elements of rural life with profound symbolic significance, elevating the narrative beyond a mere depiction of agrarian existence. While the naturalistic lens of the earth emphasizes the deterministic influences on human behavior, Zola also explores the character's agency and the choices they make in the face of adversity. Despite the overwhelming weight of heredity and environment, the individuals in the novel grapple with their desires and aspirations, attempting to carve out a semblance of control over their destinies. This tension between determinism and free will adds depth to the narrative, prompting reflection on the complexities of human agency in the face of formidable external forces. In conclusion, Emile Zola's The Earth stands as a testament to his prowess in capturing the intricacies of the human experience within the framework of naturalism. Through rich prose and vivid characterization, Zola paints a poignant portrait of rural life, exploring themes of heredity, the influence of the environment, and the indomitable spirit of the human will. The Earth remains a timeless work that transcends its 19th century setting, inviting readers to contemplate the enduring cycles of life and the inexorable forces that bind humanity to the earth.